Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2, where I've been really itching to get back to this game. As long as my headphones don't drive me crazy all of a sudden. Uh, but I figured we should probably do a smaller mission right now, because we just did some big ones. Um, so, let's see, I don't really have anything in mind. Fire, we could do, no, Firewalker's a big one. Uh, we could destroy the blood pack base. Yeah, let's go to the Shrike Abyssal. Let's go, let's go to the Blood Pack base. We're close by. This will be our, uh... Oh look, we're kind of making sense thing. <laughs> okay, Zicha. Zedabon is where the Blood Pack base is. Unexplore! Tosol Nim. This is her tragedy to the extinction event on Afris. Tosol Nim was the rarest of jewels, a second garden planet within the same life zone as Afras. Not as old as its sister planet, its fossil evidence indicates it was home to an abundant invertebrate sea life. However, similar creators to those on Afras created a dust shroud that killed 99% of biota on the planet. The even spacing of the craters indicates a coordinated simultaneous attack from points around the globe, rather than an asteroid collision or super volcanic scenario. Well, if that was... Ugh. Can I say it? I don't know. If it was the Reapers, then why? They, I thought they didn't, they didn't attack things like they left humanity alive. You know what I mean? Like we were pretty evolved past an invertebrate sea life. Like why would they do that? Why would they attack? I'm just gonna mine for a minute. Okay, so that's that planet. Oh, there's a fuel depot here. Well, what do we have? We're good on gas, but I'll buy some probes. Afras. A unique discovery. Afras is a heavenly twin, a planet in a star system that has not one but two worlds of sufficient mass to retain a nitrogen oxygen atmosphere within the habitable life zone of its parent star. Fossil evidence shows abundant vertebrates and evidence of a sapient terrestrial avian species in its Bronze Age. What the heck? However, the only trace of contemporary life on the planet is that of a single celled organism in its sea. All else has suffered from an extinction event, a series of massive impacts that vaporized vast quantities of water and lofted dust into its atmosphere. Early theories that this event was a collision with a fragmenting asteroid have now been discontinued. The impact craters were aimed directly at habitation centers. Holy crap, look at this is evidence of like another, like a, like a sentient, sapient, terrestrial species. Like, oh my gosh. And an avian species, that's so cool. And look how pretty the planet is. Blue and gold, that's cool. Oh my gosh, it's like, it's like, just imagine what they could have brought to the galaxy. Maybe they could have been horrible and warlike or whatever, but like, ah, and like to do the archaeology there, like, must be incredibly tough to do it in, it's like war-torn and everything. It was in the Bronze Age, like, oh my gosh, like, that's pretty freaking far advanced. Probe away. Okie dokie. Alright. This one. Vem Oscar, a Jovian, uh, Jovian, Jovian gas giant. Vem Oscar, weeping witness in Iperium Volus, is a low density hydrogen helium planet with 35 moons. Later this year, 33 of the moons will be visible from the planet's surface in a conjunction, an event that will be recorded by space pros from all over the galaxy. Ooh, that's pretty cool. 33 moon conjunction, like, wow. Done with that. Okay. Zedaban. Eh, eh, eh. Very desolate looking planet. Anomaly detected. Scan show a crew base established on the planet's surface. Communications match known blood pack mercenary protocols. Numerous life signs matching Borcha genealogy detected. The base's material resources match our data on weapons manufacturing components. Sweet! Somehow me sending a probe down there automatically gives me the resources. Probe launched. We 
Wait, can't I? Oh, okay. Close the scanner. Land. Score! If it still says, it says down there, most equipped mercenaries are vanguards and engineers. Watch out for body attack powers. Blood packages, Vorcha, and sometimes Krogan, which Krogan are terrifying. But. Oh, um. That's right! I actually like the black one compared to her white one. I don't know. We'll, we'll keep her in the black one. Um. Thane. And. I don't think I've really brought Jack out much. I don't, have I brought I have brought Samara out, but it wasn't a Did I bring Tally out yet? I did. Um Let's grab Jack. I, Cause I kind of have an ability now that lets me get rid of shields. So at least it's something, right? Sure, we'll get ya chalk waved. Uh, let's do heavy shockwave. And pull. Looks good. Oh, we could do- Oh, right! We could do the shredder. No, I'm saving up for warp for Thane. He's so gorgeous! <laughs> ah! Um... I actually meant to make the M22 cane. So that way I could get the finally get that nickname achievement for killing things. Looks good to me, everybody looks good to me, I think. She's a shotgun and hand cannon, sniper rifle and low good. good. So our weapon our weapon choice is varied. Ooh. that one planet, you know? I am detecting a large power source inside the base. It is probable that destroying it would disrupt the entire facility. This is the one where we... Why? Who gets squad points? Oh, Thane could. Journal. Assignment. Blood pack base. What was that from? I think that was from the random little planet that we found. The one, the, uh, it was like a crazy green world that had like the bugs that wanted to kill us. Read the data pad. Kalus, you'll get your resources when they're good and ready. You want to come mine these rocks yourself? Everything will be ready for the attack. If you'd gotten me the addition of watch I asked for, it would have been done by now. Oh. I mean... Okay, so that this is the way we're supposed to go. Oh, good. The shuttle's sticking around this time. But look, I can go around it. Ooh, pre... Oh, look at that. That's where we'll be going. Killing things. Cool! What a pretty planet! Why are the Vorcha and everything here? <laughs> Go away! I'm like readjusting my mic with one hand and trying to walk with the other. That's no good! I hear you! You can see what I'm doing here. I suggest you not arm these morons. These people are told like you to blast the broadside of one of your generators and hit the target. Intended target. Once you understand what I'm dealing with, you won't be so quick to mock me when I ask for some gosh dang assistance! He's, so he's sending back to Vorcha to say, hey, look at what condition they're in. Oh, cool gas mask, Jack. Why are we wearing gas masks? Is the air not breathable here? Shepard looks so cool. Haha! <laughs> I 
Sham. Yeah, put your shredder ammo on. I'll put my cryo ammo on. Uh, yeah, Jack biotics are useless right now. Oh, I'm going to do a shotgun. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh, it worked though. Oh my gosh, it got over to him. Holy crap. Are they down there? Oh. You got me. Yeah, take that. Shoot. I did diddly squat. Shockwave does nothing. My shields are down. None of these guys have shields. Ah. Uh. Well, it didn't work either. That's an explosive container. There we go. It's really hard to aim over things in this game, though. Oh, do I have... I have, uh, I do. I'm gonna put that on. Here. Oh my gosh, Thane's dead? Where's Jack? Oh, maybe we should go over there. Well, let's bring uh, Thane back. Is he. Oh, that's why you're dead, Thane. You're an idiot. I can hear anything. Oh, he put his armor back on. Oh, someone's got heavy boom squad. Shove him, please. Oh my gosh, is he a sniper shot? Took him out. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Dane, that was not wise to come down here. Wow, they look kind of like cartoon drawn. Data pad, data pad. Colors, some of my portrait have gone missing. I need more of these to get this work done on schedule. I don't care how you get them. Ask Garm for his extras. He has to have some cast offs that are good enough for mining duty. Garm, eh? He was the head of the blood pack in, uh, the, in Omega. Medkit! Oh. I'm trying! Holy crap. Like a toy. Uh... Oh, wow, there's more up there too. Holy crap. Can you throw him off? Oh. Wow. Wow, that was impressive. Ow. That'll get him actually. I didn't realize. Oh, it did. Okay, go. Cool. But they regenerate. I forget. <laughs> How many are up there? Two? Nope. I was hoping that would work. Uh, can you get that one? Destabilizing the nope, body. Didn't work. Thane, why are you dying so much? If you could just fall off the cliff, that'd be nice. Wow, this is apparently a very tough place to be. Yep. Well, here we 
go. Uh, walls over there. I can take cover from you. Where'd he go? I don't know where he went. Oh, there you are. Heavy. I heard that. Come on, no, 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 no. Did that work? Oh my gosh. Should I ram? No, uh... I like it a lot. I'm surprised it's still pretty. Dust modes. I love dust modes. Can I save? I'm gonna save. There's an explosive container right next to me. Come on, Borcha are tough fight because they don't ever stop. I can take you all. Oh, I hear a Krogan! I hear a Krogan! Oh no, give me your shield. Oh, that was useless. I'm useless. Oh wait, give me, give me, give me. Yeah. Wait, wait. Ah! Oh god! Oh good! Oh fantastic! Get him, Jack! Okay. Yeah, throw him into me. Perfect! Well done, team. Well done. I wish I could. Can we? Go now to the sea. Okay, that didn't really work. All right, let's try this. Not gonna work. Oh, you did? You not dead? I can take you. Whoa! Oh, I punched him to death. Dang it! I meant to punch him and then containment cell. This? That merits a second look. Oh! This is what I have to destroy. I see. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Why are we trying to destroy the base? I guess because they are. What a pretty. Like, it's such a strange place to have a secret base. Like, such a pretty planet, you know? to run out of here. Yep! Evacuate! Yee! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Ah! We're just jogging out. We can use this! <laughs> Weapon ammo? Where did I get that? That's awesome. That's what I've been wanting. Oh, all right then. Cool. I guess it was a weapons facility. That was kind of weird. 
kind of hard, but also kind of easy, short. Kind of short. It was kind of hard, but kind of short, I guess. Fortune just regenerates so quickly. That Kroger wasn't too hard, though. I had my... Well, I guess Thane isn't probably my strongest biotic, but I had one of my strongest biotics with me, and then my best assassin, so... And we were fighting organics, so his shredder ammo came in handy. Yay! I guess just com Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I guess just completing that mission gives me the heavy weapon ammo. I can't do this. Prototype heavy weapon ammo. I also want to build the M22. I think that's the one I want to build. This one's cheaper! Okay. <laughs> that was expensive. Alright, well, let's check my mail. Wow. Guardian Angels from or or Angels. Oh, I meant to read this after, I forgot. From Oriana Lawson. I hope this is the right Commander Shepard. I'm Oriana. My sister only told me a little, but I don't think it occurred to her that I'm as smart as she is. I poked around a little and found an information broker who got me this address. Ah, uh, was it Liara? <laughs> I never- I got to thank her, but I never got to thank you for helping me. My parents don't really understand it, but I know how much Miranda did, how many little things over the years were her looking out for me. I'm not going to tell them. I still want to go to school and get some degrees. But I- <laughs> some degrees. But I wanted you to know that I- I know you saved me. I had a guardian angel all these years. I don't know if my sister has, has anybody. She said that she's working for you, and it was pretty clear that you were doing something dangerous. Make sure she comes back alive, okay? Oriana, P.S. Don't tell her I said this. It would just make her angry. P.P.S. Miranda, quit, look, quit looking at Shepard's messages. Oh, don't act like you don't. It's what I do. Oh, Jorbin! Yeah! Um, the, about the keepers. I hope this address still works. I promise to send you intel on keepers if I found anything. And this is important. See the scans you took? It turns out the keepers are bioengineered. And based on my comparisons, some of that material from Saren's flagship Sovereign, they were engineered millions of years ago by the same people who made Sovereign. That is actually a little bit ahead of its time because Sovereign's a reaper, so somebody had to make Sovereign. But the, I didn't realize the Keepers were created by the, the creatures that made Sovereign. You may not understand how important this is, but it suggests that the Citadel wasn't really made by, some, by the Protheans. It may have been made by something far older, with the Keepers as organic guardians. And what's more, based on my genetic readings, they are supposed to react to something, some signal or something, about every 50,000 years. You can measure genetic variances. It's a bit like comparing rings in a tree to see the drought years. Whoever did this, well, at least the, around, well, around the last time the signal went off, will be around the time the Protheans disappeared, and it's scheduled to go off sometime around now. If any of the old tech still works, they could have some nasty surprises waiting for us. Just thought you want to know. Nobody here in the Citadel will listen to me. Good for you, Chorbin. You're ahead of your time. It could happen to you. Freaking, don't talk to me about Drell dying from Keppel Syndrome. Uh, Elkos mail routing. A Drell lay in the ocean, dying from Keppel Syndrome, and had a dream. In his dream, the Enkindlers came to him and charted the course of his life. The Drell saw the wakes and eddies and saw that sometimes the Enkindlers swam alongside him, limbs raking the water, while other times he was alone. The Drell saw that the times he was alone were the hardest times in his life. He asked the Enkindlers, why was this one abandoned? A Drell wouldn't speak like that. The Enkindlers answered, their light shining brightly, you were never abandoned in those difficult times in your life. It was our bodies that bore you through the water. The Drell awoke and found his Keppel syndrome cured. If you follow the light of the Enkindlers, it can happen to you. Where the Enkindlers go, we shall follow. And where the li their light is the sun, we shall be the stars around them. Send this message to six beings of your acquaintance, and your greatest wish shall come true. Yay! How did I freaking from the Elkos mailing system? Like, okay, thanks, weirdos. I should probably go feed my fish, huh? I need to go to the Citadel again and get the fish and the hamster. I guess because I actually want to do Tally and Garrus's mission next. I know they're not next on the list, but I would like to do the Normandy crash site soon, and I'm bringing Tally and Garrus with me. 
So I kind of want to have their loyalty when we do that. I have room for one more little ship. Or maybe, yeah, one more little ship. I think they actually start putting them over here. I don't really like this being here. I'd rather it be over here. It's kind of making my desk crowded. But anyway, <laughs> I guess I will leave off here. Thank you, my fishies. This is so relaxing to see fish glitching through the walls of their tank. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for joining me. When we get back next, we'll be doing either, probably maybe we'll do Garrus's mission first. I was thinking about it earlier. I was actually like, you know, I should probably, next time I do this, Next time I play Mass Effect 2, I'm going to play the loyalty missions in order of urgency. Like, Tally's is pretty urgent, and Thane's is pretty urgent. They're kind of on a timer, and so is Samara's, you know? Jacob's isn't, you know? We could just get there whenever. Miranda's is pretty important, uh, like, timing-wise. Um, Garrus is, is kind of, but I don't think the guy is going anywhere. He's just hanging out, feeling bad. But anyway, again, thank you guys for joining me. I will see you in the next one.